This is Oleg and welcome to my tech review. As you can see by the title of this video today, it's a follow-up video on the Netro. And the Netro, last time we installed it, the installation video, the link is right here. Um, it's a very good system to actually control your irrigation and it's using modern technology like internet weather forecasts to actually predict how the weather will go on the next fall, on the next day or on the following week and plan your irrigation in accordance to the forecast of the weather. One of the things which is very attractive in that system is that it's using a set of sensors which is called Whisper, which can allow you to fine-tune actual measurements of the humidity and moisture in the ground to see if you need more time added to the one of your zones or you're okay and you can just monitor, you can move this sensor around and actually see how the whole thing is going. As I promised, I found those and I actually ordered them direct from Netro and I received two of these. These are the boxes. As you can see, this is a very small box and it's got the sensor inside. The packaging is very straightforward. You have sensor, you have manual, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the installation of that sensor is done from the app itself and Netro app is very robust in that regard so as you can see the installation going through the application itself you go through to add on the plus sign you select your sensor on the top and then you follow in the prompt to specify the name of the zones the use of the zones because each sensor is actually linked up to the zone my preference would have been to actually be able to link one sensor and based on the measurement from that sensor control multiple zones and see how they're doing. As you can see from the menu on the main screen, you can actually watch your sensor and, and it will tell you the actual measurements taken, uh, including sunlight, including temperature of the soil on the ground, and also the moisture percentage in the ground. The sensor is going into the ground like about 10 centimeters deep. Uh, and it's m enough to get the very accurate measurements from the moisture from that sensor. You can also see the statistics and the reason why would you need this sensor is potentially just to understand how the moisture is being fluctuating during the day, especially during the sunny days and uh, when it is a hot day. You can see the drops are pretty significant from the time you actually water it and from the time by the end of the day how much is retained in the soil and for some plants this information and that kind of moisture level are critical and you can adjust the thing is what you can do with the netro is using the measurement from the sensor you can tell okay if my measurements are very low on the moisture i would need to add specific amount of minutes to the zone major program so it will correct it and learn more as you go and it will add more time to that zone so to maintain that moisture level which you require. So if I see that the watering is not enough, I just increase the square footage of that zone so the water time will go up. That way you can also, as you can see from the application, you can also change the soil type and stuff like that. But mostly, most effective so far been just manipulating the measurement of the square footage. Uh, one of the things which you can also probably counter if you get this thing, uh, this sensor to you, they come um, almost like 15-10% charged, sometimes even less. And when you try to connect it to your network and follow the setup steps, you will see that there is a red light coming up all the time, like sensor cannot reset or sensor cannot be used because of that. Uh, the reason for it is not the sensor is defective, like I was initially thinking, but the reason for it, which is not actually stipulated and stated in the manual, is that the battery is not charged enough. So make sure you charge it for at least two days and reach approximately at least 60% of the battery uh, before you can actually configure that in the 
system and add it up to the app. Otherwise, you will be frustrated because you will try to search for it, you will press button on the back six times, it will try to tell you it's trying to reset, but at the end it will show up. Instead of white blinking light, it will show you red light. And that means that the system isn't used by some other network based on the Netro manual. But in fact, what that tells you is that the system cannot reset and still you need to charge and keep it in the sound for two days before you configure it and in that way you should be okay after that because the system will get and the sensor will get enough power and the battery to finish the configuration steps so that's pretty much it for the follow-up uh, in general would i recommend to install in these sensors yes uh, in a way that if you use like plants or you grow some vegetables which are critical for moisture level and uh, sunlight and like temperature control so you can place them around your garden yeah, that this is a good thing. It's slightly overpriced if you ask me, but this is unique opportunity for you to actually get exact measurement of your soil and all your vegetable garden and uh, to control, to get it under control. The other reason would be is to see how reliable uh, the actual prognosis and the projection for the temperature in your area and whatever is get reported by the application. So there are two sites which is used by Metro mostly. You can also configure it to use a weather station in your area, which will tell you what they measured. And sometimes these values are not really accurate. So you can see that, for example, projection of the moisture control in my zones are different between what actual sensor measured and what was projected by the weather forecast because if these values are not quite adequate then you would probably need something what you would say in-house to measure that moisture levels and for that you would need a sensor my recommendation if you see the value of that sensor itself just try one and then to see how good it is and how reliable uh, on the projections and actual measurement it is and does it really make a difference for your garden or not and uh, use it and buy more later on if you need to the sensor is waterproof its dimensions are very sleek it's very small its weight only six ounce and the temperature control is from 10 degrees fahrenheit up to 120 degrees fahrenheit the only difference is and the downside if you will uh, would be that it's only using the old wireless n standard it's not using 5g standard so um, the wireless ac uh, it's only 2.4 gigahertz um, connection and on a modern network you will see it right away but if you only providing in your Wi-Fi 5G network for high speed for wireless AC then you might see the issue because this thing will simply not be found it will not connect to your network if you like this video you know what to do click subscribe click share share it with your friends and make sure the notification bell is on as well so you will be notified when the next amazing video is shot on this channel i'm trying to make videos useful for you guys um, and it's less marketing thing it's more like technical insights and based on the actual usage and reviews again stay safe during this uh, covid times and i'll see you around on the next video peace